You're scrolling through job postings. Suddenly you see it, the perfect job. Your heart races. This is it, the opportunity you've been waiting for. But then, doubt creeps in. I'm not qualified, whispers a voice in your head. Someone else is more experienced. Sound familiar? You're not alone. Many of us have been there staring at a dream job with a mix of excitement and paralyzing self-doubt. That voice of self-doubt? It's more common than you think. It's often fueled by imposter syndrome, a phenomenon where individuals doubt their accomplishments and fear being exposed as frauds. This internal battle can be a significant roadblock, preventing us from even applying for jobs that could propel our careers forward. Imposter syndrome doesn't discriminate, it affects people across industries, genders, and experience levels. It whispers doubts in our ears, making us question our abilities and shrinking our aspirations. When it comes to job applications, imposter syndrome can be particularly crippling. We convince ourselves we don't meet all the criteria, so why even try? We imagine a panel of interviewers scrutinizing our every word, ready to expose us as unqualified. This fear of failure, this dread of being found out, can lead to missed opportunities, stalled careers, and unfulfilled potential. Think about it. Every time you talk yourself out of applying for a job, you're choosing to let self-doubt win. You're denying yourself the chance to grow, to learn, and to potentially land your dream job. What if the hiring manager sees something special in you? What if your unique skills and experiences are exactly what they're looking for? By not applying, you're making the decision for them. You're preemptively rejecting yourself before anyone else has the chance. This self-sabotage can have long-term consequences, leaving you stuck in a cycle of what-ifs and regrets. Confidence Gap – A Tale of Two Applicants Research suggests that men are more likely to apply for jobs even when they don't meet all the qualifications, while women tend to hold back until they check every box. This confidence gap can be attributed to societal expectations and unconscious biases, but it highlights the need for women to embrace a more proactive approach to their careers. Imagine two equally qualified candidates. One applies confidently, even highlighting areas where they're eager to learn and grow, while the other hesitates, allowing self-doubt to hold them back. Who do you think is more likely to land the interview? Confidence, even in the face of uncertainty, can be a game changer. Apply, anyway, your new mantra for success. The solution, apply anyway. Yes, you read that right. Even if you don't perfectly match every single requirement, don't let that stop you from throwing your hat in the ring. You never know what will happen once your application is submitted. Hiring managers often prioritize soft skills, personality fit, and a demonstrated willingness to learn over a checklist of qualifications. Your unique background and experiences could be your biggest asset, setting you apart from the competition. Silence your inner critic. Tips for application confidence. Start by challenging those negative thoughts. Replace I'm not qualified with I'm eager to learn or I bring a unique perspective. Highlight your accomplishments and don't be afraid to showcase your enthusiasm for the role and the company. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So take a deep breath, silence that inner critic, and apply. You are capable of amazing things. Don't let self-doubt stand in the way of your dreams. The perfect job might be just one application away. Go for it.